I've tried all week to fish and nothing's really come together. Um, it's been a struggle to say the least, but today we are out here. Um, there's this really cool field that I've always wanted to camp in. The only issue is if you can hear that, there's a highway right there. So that's gonna be our only um, issue tonight, I guess. Despite the fact that it's gonna reach 25 mile per hour winds, um, it's gonna be downpouring and it's in a tropical storm category. <laughs> but it is winter, it is cold, but I took, I got hot um, setting everything up, so I'm only in a t-shirt right now, but it is definitely winter and it is definitely time to camp, so I'm excited. But before we get into it, I wanna let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Shop Carl's, despite the fact that we're not fishing. Um, I love fishing, and most of you, uh, and most of my beautiful viewers do. So if you guys wanna go save some money this holiday season, check out Shop Carl's, link down below. Use my code, code Becca 10 at checkout, and you can save uh, $10 off your first order of $25 or more, and uh, everything's on sale right now so it's pretty crazy even if you don't want to buy anything i recommend just checking them out see what they're about because um i'll definitely be continuing to work with them for a very long time so if you're interested first link down below check them out thank you for sponsoring today's episode um i'm gonna go get the rest of our supplies and we're gonna be camping out here tonight I'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie definitely a little nervous it's gonna be a pretty bad storm the rain was non-stop all morning and it just stopped so it's gonna pick up pretty soon again it is so freaking windy out here right now i have a wind mic on so hopefully it's not too bad for you guys but shh, it's bad definitely time to start cooking I'm getting pretty pretty hungry right now sun's going down quite fast actually so let's, let's get to cooking what's on the menu tonight oh my god okay I was not exaggerating on the wind I couldn't find my steaks to keep the house down I'm so scared I'm gonna start cooking and this thing's just gonna go flying Okay, hey, cool, the wind. Chill out, broski. Oh my God. The whole house, this is bad. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my God. Dude, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay. I was so excited to cook. Okay, the wind is chilled out for now. Now's our moment. Yeah, buddy. This might not look like much, but this is gonna be delicious, I promise. All right, I've always wanted to do this camping, so I figured, you know, we're in a freaking snowstorm snowstorm we're in a windstorm a wind tunnel let's make some pancakes these bad boys go right there it's definitely the ultimate life hack to bring your sled not only to carry everything but to put it on top of your stove to cook on it's like a mini table it's it's hard when you're camping to bring too much stuff so what i've learned is that this wind is insane mother nature hates me right now I've learned over time that having too much equipment isn't fun. It's not worth it. Ugh. Yeah, we're camping. I'm trying, I'm gonna attempt to go fishing again tomorrow. No promises though. The fishing gods hate me right now. There we go. That's my least favorite thing is getting the protein, protein, the propane cap off. Uh oh. Every time the wind picks up, I'm, I'm very scared. Yep, we're sitting in bed about to cook some food. This stove's kind of weird. You gotta turn it until you hear it clicking. 
There you go. Then you take your lighter. There you go. It's a little much. Okay. First things first, butter your pan. Buttering your pan is, you just got to. You don't have a choice in life. It's how you want your food to come out. Muy bien. Taking a little bit of butter like that. Nothing fancy. We out in the woods, boy. And just kind of put it on there. Let it melt. Yeah, buddy. Holy crap, I forgot plates and, a f and forks. Anyways, so one thing that's really good to do before camping, if you're going to make pancakes or waffles and whatnot, um, pre-make it. This is pre-made mix that I made at home and just kind of mixed it up real quick because I knew I was going to come out and I was going to want it. So now all you do is you can open it or you can pop a hole right here and squeeze it into the pan. I'm just going to open it because why not? All right, here we go, our bottle, our butter is bubbling. Yeah, buddy. There we go. <laughs> okay, pancake uno going in. You know, my immediate concern right now is I've been wanting to make pancakes camping pretty much every single time I've ever gone and now that I'm here I realize I literally don't have a plate. So we're going to take the top of our cooler and this is going to be our plate. I have some napkins to wipe it and clean it. It's pretty ratchet. Alright, she's definitely ready. Let's get a good flip. Hopefully. Oh god. Oh god. Yes! <laughs> This pancake looks so unreal, it's not even funny. I don't know about you guys, I know it's dinner, and this is my dinner, but I can literally eat pancakes, waffles, pretty much any breakfast food for every single meal for the rest of my life. If there's one food I can eat for the rest of my life, yeah, that's it, breakfast food. This one sucks, so let's try this one. This one's brand new. Whoa, that's intense. Oh wow, I can see what I'm doing so much better. Oh my god. Fancy. Look at me, I'm so fancy now. Okay, pancake one. Done, baby! And this is um, what you gotta do. Voila. We're gonna make a bunch more. Or really however much, you know we can make with this mix that we brought. It's only like six o'clock right now. Oh God. Oh God. But I'm already pretty tired. I'm an old lady now. Please stop moving. This wind is killing me. I might have to run back to my truck, which isn't like crazy far, and try to see if I can find something to like, just plant this thing into the ground. I had steaks that came with this um, ice fishing setup tent, my ice tent, but it's been a while. Dude, what is going on? Do you guys see that? Like, it's like bubbling. Like, what? This this pancake right here is looking a little a little wonky. It's not gonna taste wonky, but it's gonna look wonky. Go little rock star. It's pitch black out pretty much. All right, our second pancake's done, and I think that's all we really have to make. There's not too much batter left, so we're gonna turn this off. And it is definitely chilly out, so if I just put this over here, it should cool down pretty fast, and then we're probably gonna have to eat off of it, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I won't eat off of it. Here we go. <laughs> I met this person one time that actually hated using uh, a fork with pancakes and whatnot 
the only way they like to eat it was like rip it apart so i think that's what we're gonna have to do honestly don't worry don't worry we got the maple syrup Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god. Sometimes when you can't catch fish, just go camping and you'll reconnect with nature and then maybe you'll go out fishing the next day and catch fish. First bite. Mmm. So many carbs in this. I'm probably gonna knock out in like an hour. The rain's really gonna pick up too in like 30 minutes, so. Yummy. God. Hmm. Yup. 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 Big bite. It's so good. I don't know why someone hasn't made a propane waffle maker. Let me know. I wouldn't even bring this big stove i would just bring the waffle maker and that's the only thing i would eat well used to make food to eat of you know what i mean i think i have another plan i don't want my fingers getting sticky look at this yeah buddy and i'm just gonna pick it up i'm just gonna eat it just like that Mhm. Mm i think that's the move I'm not entirely sure what to do, but I almost feel like for safety reasons, it is not smart for me to stay out here because I don't have stakes for the shelter. That's all we need. Sure, I forgot a fork and a pillow. Mm, that's fine, I can do without that, but it's almost too windy. I think I underestimated um, Mother Nature's integrity. If is that even the right word? Mother Nature's power. Power. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Shoot. No. No. This might be our first camping out. So I'm gonna plead my case just real quick why I thought this was gonna work. I've ice fished out of this thing and camped out of this exact tent um, in worse winds, but the outside rim was compacted by snow, which A, also insulated it and just kept the tent down. There's no snow on the ground. There was yesterday a bunch of snow on the ground, uh, but yeah, that's why I thought this was gonna work. But Camping is all a learning experience. So, we learn. Learn from me, please. Taught you guys something valuable today. Let's go. And that is, um, yep. Make sure you have steaks. <laughs> Look at this mess. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I was just chilling, but I think that's my cue. Holy crap. We gotta take this tent down starting to rain so I can't put the big cam out but I'll keep you guys on the GoPro oh come on
plug in my mascara. That's when you know it was insane. Lack of B-roll, lack of this, lack of that. Um, yeah, this kicked my butt. This was definitely one of the harder videos I've ever attempted to film. And it wasn't even supposed to be that hard. It was supposed to be fun. <sighs> we went through it, folks. We went through it. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. And thank you to Shop Carlos for sponsoring such a chaotic, chaotic episode. I'm exhausted right now. Please make sure to go check out the video sponsor. Help support your girl after everything I just went through. You live and you learn, folks, and make sure you learn from what you just witnessed here because that was an L. But that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. I'm exhausted now. I'm going to go take a nice shower and think about my life decisions. Yeah. Catch you guys on the next one.